Hi, I'm Dr. Shilpa Shri N. I'm a consultant obstetrician and gynecologist in Cloud9 Hospital, Kanakpura branch. My specialities are obstetrics, gynecology, infertility, and laparoscopic surgery. Yeah, as uh, I told, the only tablet which is recommended when a woman is pregnant is folic acid. Apart from this, no other tablet is required during your first trimester. Unless and until you have a health related issues like hypothyroidism, diabetes, hypertension or heart diseases, you need not take any other tablets apart from folic acid. Folic acid plays a major role in giving birth to a healthy baby, preventing the incidence of neural tube defects in the newborn as well as also reducing the incidence of Down syndrome. And the most important part here is in case you have a pre-existing diabetes condition, the tablets which you were taking well before you plan for a pregnancy may not be continued when you become pregnant. The ideal medicine would be an insulin rather than the other and oral hypoglycemic drugs. The thyroid medicines dosage needs to be varied once you become pregnant because it needs to support both the mother and the newborn. The heart related issue conditions may require an extra blood thinners to supply adequate blood circulation to the newborn. And hypertensive medicines, not all medicines which you were taking well before you were pregnant will be helpful once you are pregnant. It needs to be changed into a safer medicine once you conceive. So as I told, it's always better to discuss with the doctor before you plan for a pregnancy if you have any health related issues or at least the earliest once you miss your period and confirm that you are pregnant to discuss on what tablets to be taken, what tablets not to be taken. And the next important thing is, does frequent scans in pregnancy harm the fetus? Definitely not. Frequent scans definitely do not harm the fetus because ultrasound are low sonic, low intensity and low frequency waves which are not at all harmful to the fetus. So repeated scanning will never harm the fetus. In fact, the repeated scanning helps us and guides us to diagnose any disorders in the fetus at the earliest and guide in a right way. The recommended number of scans in pregnancy is 4 to 5. The earliest being between 6 to 7 weeks where we scan for the fetal heart rate to confirm everything is going in the right track. The third month scan which is called the neural tube, the NT-NTD scan, the nuchal transparency scan where which is also called as the first anomaly scan where we screen for the Down syndrome or any NTD defects in the newborn. The third most important scan is the anomaly scan where a detailed study is done on all the parts of the body in the fetus roughly around 20 to 22 weeks and diagnose if there is any abnormalities in the baby and guiding the woman about continuing the pregnancy further or the best option. Fourth uh, scan which is an optional which is done mostly in congenital heart disease mothers or highly diabetic patients who are pregnant. In them we do this scan which is called the fetal Doppler scan where we completely do cardiac evaluation of the fetus and see if there are any congenital heart related issues in the fetus born to diabetic mother or heart diseased mother. The fifth scan is called the interval growth scan which is usually done between 28 to 32 weeks to see if the fetus is growing adequately both in terms of height, weight, abdominal surface and the last but not the least the scan which is done at around 36 weeks to see if the fetus has attained the maturity in case we would plan to go for a preterm delivery or in case we have to plan for a caesarean in certain conditions where the mother is not a eligible candidate for a normal vaginal delivery. But the recommended number of scans is 4. As I told you, the first trimester scan that is the NT-NTD scan, the anomaly scan and the last but not the least the 36 weeks which is called the growth profile scan to see if the fetus has attained the maturity and is it ready to come out is the ideal scans are recommended.